The day arrived when I moved into the new apartment. Excitement bubbled within me as I entered the building, imagining the life I would build here. The place had an old charm, with creaky floors and high ceilings that whispered stories of times long past. Boxes littered the floor, waiting to reveal their contents. I unpacked diligently, placing each item in its new home. The sunlight danced through the curtains, warming the room. Despite a peculiar chill in the air, I brushed it off his nerves. As night fell, a low hum echoed through the walls. It was subtle, like a distant conversation. I dismissed it, thinking it was the building's settling bones. But as days went by, the hum grew into mysterious whispers that sent shivers down my spine. Things started to shift on their own. A book sliding off a shelf, a door creaking open uninvited. Lights flickered, casting eerie shadows. Doubt gnawed at me, but I clung to logic even as my heart raced in my chest. Determined to unravel the enigma, I delved into the building's past. The air turned heavy as I uncovered tales of sorrow and lost souls. The apartment had a history tainted with tragedy like a ghostly echo of lives once lived. Then they came the figures from the past. Transparent and mournful, they lingered in the corners of my vision. Their eyes held stories of longing and pain. I could no longer deny the truth. The apartment was haunted. Desperation led me to my neighbors and even a paranormal expert. But their faces turned pale, unwilling to speak of what they knew. It seemed the horrors were locked away, buried in the silence of the building. The spirits grew bolder, their presence suffocating. They whispered in chilling unison, their voices a chorus of sorrow. They toyed with my senses, blurring the line between reality and nightmare. Escape became an obsession, yet every attempt was thwarted. The door refused to yield, the windows held an impenetrable gaze. I was trapped, a prisoner in my own home, haunted by relentless specters. Through faded newspapers and fragile documents, I pieced together the puzzle. A tragic event stained the apartment's history, a wound that never healed. The spirits sought justice, their presence a plea for acknowledgement. With trepidation, I stood before them, my voice trembling. I acknowledged their pain, offering solace and empathy. The air grew heavy with their presence, a poignant moment suspended in time. In that fragile moment, a shift occurred. The spirits either found peace and drifted away, or their anguish consumed them, binding them to the apartment forever. The outcome hung in the balance. Silence settled, broken only by the echoes of my breath. The weight lifted, leaving a palpable stillness. Whether tranquility or lingering unease, the apartment held its secrets close. I reflected on that haunting chapter and the indelible mark it left on my soul. The walls whispered tales, a reminder of the fine line between the living and the departed. The experience would forever haunt my thoughts. As I turned to leave, a chilling realization gripped me. The spirits had found release, but their story lived on, etched in the walls and in my memory. The apartment stood as a silent witness to the true creepy horror that dwelled within its walls. The day I found the apartment, it seemed like a dream come true. The building stood tall, welcoming me with open arms. The landlord, Mr. Turner, had a warm smile and greeted me like an old friend. I felt lucky to have found such a place. Boxes filled with my belongings sat around the living room. It was like a puzzle, fitting everything in its perfect spot. The sun streamed through the windows, making the room feel cozy. But there was something strange, a chill that lingered in the air, like a whisper of caution. Mr. Turner was always there to lend a hand. He fixed a leaky faucet and even recommended local spots to visit. His kindness put me at ease, making me believe I'd found not only a great apartment but a caring landlord. As night fell, the apartment came alive with strange sounds. Soft footsteps echoed in the hallway, but when I looked, no one was there. Shadows danced on the walls, flickering like ghostly apparitions. I told myself it was just an old building settling. One day, as I explored the building, I stumbled upon a locked door on the top floor. 
Mr. Turner's eyes darkened when I asked about it. He simply said it was storage and swiftly changed the subject, leaving me curious and unsettled. I decided to ask the neighbors about Mr. Turner's past. They exchanged nervous glances and mumbled vague responses. It seemed they were hiding something, adding to the mystery surrounding my landlord. The air grew heavy with an unexplainable presence whenever Mr. Turner was nearby. His once friendly demeanor now felt like a mask hiding something sinister. I couldn't shake the feeling that danger lurked beneath the surface. Late at night, I delved into the history of the building and Mr. Turner. Old records revealed a dark secret, tales of disappearances and strange occurrences linked to him. My heart raced, realizing I might be in grave danger. Every creak and whisper became a threat. I felt trapped, unable to trust even my own senses. Fear gnawed at me, urging me to flee but the apartment seemed to hold me in its grasp. One evening, I mustered the courage to confront Mr. Turner. His smile faded, revealing a chilling gaze. He confessed to being something beyond human, a being with a dark purpose. I trembled, realizing the true evil that lurked within the man I once trusted. In a desperate bid, I fled the apartment, racing down the stairs. But the building seemed to stretch endlessly, the exit always just out of reach. It was as if the very walls conspired to keep me within its grasp. In a shocking turn, the building revealed its true form, a nightmarish realm of shadows and malevolent energy. I stood, paralyzed by the horrifying truth, realizing that I had stumbled into a realm beyond mortal understanding. When I finally awoke, I found myself back in the apartment my heart pounding. Had it all been a dream? Or had I glimpsed a reality too terrifying to comprehend? The uncertainty lingered, a constant reminder of the horrors I'd witnessed. As I packed my belongings, I couldn't shake the feeling that the building held a malevolence beyond my understanding. Its secrets would forever haunt my thoughts, a chilling reminder of the darkness that lurked in the most unexpected places. With a heavy heart, I turned to leave vowing never to return. The building stood silent, but I knew its true nature now. It was a place of nightmares, a realm where the line between reality and horror blurred. And with a final glance back, I stepped into the unknown, forever changed by the true, creepy horror that dwelled within its walls. The day I moved into the new apartment, excitement bubbled within me. It was a fresh start, a chance to make a new home. The building stood tall, welcoming me. Next door, a neighbor, Mr. Thompson, greeted me with a warm smile. Little did I know, danger lurked behind that facade. Boxes filled with my belongings sat in every corner. It was like putting together a puzzle, finding the right spot for each piece. The sunlight painted patterns on the floor, making the place feel like a haven. Yet, beneath it all, there was a whisper of unease, a feeling that something was not quite right. Mr. Thompson was a friendly face, always ready with a helping hand. He offered advice on the best places to shop, and even helped fix a leaky faucet. His kindness put me at ease, making me believe I'd found not only a great apartment but a neighbor who cared. As days passed, odd things began to happen. A shadow flickered at his door. A muffled sound echoed from his apartment. I told myself it was just the sounds of a bustling building. But deep down, I knew something was amiss. I grew curious about Mr. Thompson. Who was he really? I asked around, but no one seemed to know much about him. It was as if he had appeared out of thin air. The mystery deepened, leaving me uneasy. Each day, the unease gnawed at me a bit more. I noticed the small details, the way he looked at me, the hushed conversations he had with strangers. It was like a puzzle, and the pieces didn't quite fit together. Late one night, I couldn't sleep. I delved into the internet, searching for any information about Mr. Thompson. What I found sent chills down my spine. He had a dark past, a history of disappearances and unspeakable acts. He wasn't who he seemed to be. Suddenly, I knew he was aware of my snooping. 
The apartment building turned into a maze, each corridor a potential trap. I had to be cautious, for I knew I was now on his list. I sought help, from friends, and from the police. But their skepticism hung heavy in the air. They needed proof, something concrete. Time was running out, and I felt the weight of the danger pressing down on me. One fateful night, I gathered my courage. I confronted Mr. Thompson, my voice trembling. He didn't deny it, didn't even flinch. The air grew heavy, charged with a sinister energy. In a surge of adrenaline, I fled. The building seemed to stretch endlessly, the exit always just out of reach. But I pushed on, determined to escape the clutches of that malevolent presence. When I finally emerged, gasping for breath, I looked back at the building. It stood silent, but I knew its true nature now. It was a place of nightmares, a realm where the line between reality and horror blurred, and with a final glance back, I stepped into the unknown, forever changed by the true, creepy horror that dwelled within its walls. Thank you for watching Whispering Tales TV, so don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and join our community of fellow thrill seekers. Get ready for spine-tingling stories that will keep you up at night. Let the whispering tales begin.